We are not different from the children we were, only more experienced, better able to disguise ourselves from others, if not ourselves. I describe myself as a, as a, um, as a writer who writes for the young and once we're young. I like the phrase, uh, once we're young instead of adult, partly because it's playful, but partly because the phrase once we're young to me is a reminder of how childhood is so profoundly shapes who we are. Sometimes I'm moved by an image, a thought, to tell a story and I'll ask myself, how can I best tell this story? Is this story best told as a picture book? Can it be best told as a stage play? Maybe it'll flourish as a, as a novel. There's so many elements to telling a story and there are nonverbal elements too that I'm very drawn to. Um, so there is a challenge of, of getting to the heart of a story. I love the challenge of creating stories where there are no words. It's about narrative. And the idea of working with a choreographer to tell a ballet I found terrifically compelling and very gratifying because the ballet still needed a story. There were no words, but there was a story to be told. And some of my most memorable stage moments are not moments that I wrote per se. And so there's a children play called Beneath the Banyan Tree about a young girl who's facing, I think, a challenge that many Canadians face. It's how much of your heritage did you preserve? How much of the country you're now living in do you embrace? And that could be a, a difficult dance. So I'm keenly aware of how storytelling is about narrative. And my role sometimes is defining what role, how, what do I, how do I contribute to that narrative? And it could be creating the narrative, as I say, in non-verbal ways. There are moments in Hannah's suitcase, a stage play, where you have these characters wearing masks. How do you begin to describe the six million Jews who perished in the Holocaust? I mean, you can't, it's so enormous that we came up with this idea of these masks which speak to the anonymity of it all. I really believe that most of us play this lifelong game of hide and seek where we do most of the hiding. And I believe it's a writer's responsibility to seek.